How's practice today? Really good. I think the defense, we flew around well. I think we, uh, the job was to come out and fly around in full pads, and I think we did a good job of executing. How have the first two days in full pads been? It was hot yesterday, so we had to get used to that. But, I mean, I think it's been good. I don't think we slowed down. I think we, we're playing how we're supposed to be. You know what the takeaway count was today? Four, if I'm not mistaken. We got them all in the second half. I'm not sure exactly when, but I know we got two as a, on the first unit, but I don't know exactly when. I think they got another one on the other side. Who, who, uh, who got takeaways, you know? Scooter caught a pick. It was some fumbles. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly. So, so that's right. Scooter's got three picks now. Scooter lead, leading the picks on the team right now. Who did he yeah. pick off today? Nick. Yeah, and what, I, what, what happened on the play? You know? I can't remember. I just looked back and it was a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the Saturday scrimmage. Just what you're expecting, you know, the first big scrimmage at camp. Uh, our coaches want to see, we put in a lot of stuff, and our coaches want to see us execute the things that we've been putting in. Like, we're trying to uh, lim uh, make minimal mistakes. Does the fact that you guys are getting <coughs> several turnovers a day, does it worry you for the other side of the ball? No, nah, I think we're all just getting each other better. I mean, we all need it. We, they need it to get better. We all need to get better. I, think, I don't think it worries me a little bit. Do you ever find, actually, the irony, I guess, that you dropped a lot of weight and, and McTelvin has added a lot of weight like you guys Went 40 pounds and all. Yeah, I know. I lost 30. He gained 30. I think that's where it was supposed to be the whole time. I was a little big. <laughs> How's he moving over there next to you? He's, he's, he's just, I, honestly, I don't, I don't see a difference in his speed. He's moving faster than me, honestly. I think he's pulling the right way. Mm -hmm. People have questions about the offensive tackles. The guys that you go up against, what, what are their strengths? I mean, all those guys are good. I don't think, I mean, it was a big loss losing uh, Noah. Uh, that was a huge loss, but I think all the guys, are, I think we'll be okay. Who do you front. go up against the most? Dalton Wagner. I go up against, that's the only person I go up against. So. Oh. And I think he's doing a really, he, he gets better every day. He gets me better and I get him better every day. You've always talked about your hunger to succeed. Now you're out there in preseason camp, it's getting close. So just talk about how hungry you are this month. I just want to do whatever I got to do to make this team a better football team, make, you know, make the defense a better defense. That's all I want to do. And whatever that is, I'll do it. Any young guys standing out to you? Uh, Catalan. The safety, uh, Catalan is doing real good. Greg Brooks is doing real good. I like Soli a lot. Uh, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. That stand out to me. You said you like Soli a lot. What do you What do you think he needs to continue to work on? Honestly, so Soli has the – Soli is what you look for in the den. He's very twitchy. He's, he's, big, he's a big dude. He's fast. He, I mean – Soli just got to keep getting better every day. As long as Soli keeps coming and get better like he does, I, I don't see. Soli's going to be one of the best defensive ends to come through, in my opinion. Arkansas used to have this, what they call the Bermuda Triangle, with yeah. Darius Taiwan and Trey Flowers and, and Martrell Spate. You kind of maybe envision that happening with you and McTelvin and, and maybe Scooter behind you? That's some big shoes to fill, but I hope. I really do. I heard that before, but I, I hope so. I hope we can do it. I think we can do it. I think this defense has grown a lot. Uh, especially from last fall, I think we look a lot better than we did. And I hope we can beat a new Bermuda Triangle. How do you feel with all that weight that you've lost, you know, speed-wise out there? Oh, way faster. I feel a lot faster. I feel I feel how I'm supposed to feel. Last year I came in, it was I was too sluggish. I couldn't I couldn't go play, uh, ten plays. Now I can go ten plays. Last year I couldn't go number four or five, and it's it, it, I can tell a big difference. Last year you I think you missed the first practice, didn't you? you yeah, I missed the first three. What was I that think, like? I mean, you had that be spinning coming in, just jumping into things like that. I had no clue what I was doing. They just threw me in the first. I I remember going to. I didn't even. I missed the meetings that day. Mm -hmm. I came in, got my pads. They put me on the field, and they called called a play. And I was like, "What do I do? I don't know." They just just run a play, mm -hmm. and that's how it was. And it, like I said, it's a big difference. It's a way big difference. Going a full year to coach true strength and conditioning, it, it made a big difference. Hey, Jordan, what, what, what's your weight now exactly, and what was it a year ago? Yeah, I, said, I heard everybody saying I was 293. I'm not 293. I'm 260. Okay. Yeah. How about you're 260 right Yeah, 260. What, what about last season? What did you play at? Uh, I played the season at 283. 283. I think when they announced it, at the weigh-in deal, it sounded like 293. Yeah, everybody said that. I look fat. Deal. I look that big. I thought I lost weight. <laughs> What is the advantage of the split field thing? Do you think that improves the tempo of practice? What do you think? I think it definitely gets guys in better shape because we're getting a lot more reps than we used to, a lot. Like, it's, we're getting double the reps than we usually get. So, I mean, I think condition-wise, it does good for the team. Who's playing at the end on the other side, and how are they looking? Gabe. Gabe and uh, Soli. I think they, they battling for about this. Gabe is the leader. I think, in my, in my opinion, Gabe's the leader in our room. He's more vocal. And so I think Gabe has a job right now, but Soli's – 
he's he's doing a good job too. He's trying. He wants to start just like Gabe. So has Jamario been behind you, man? He has been. Yeah. Jamario yeah. looks like he's added a lot of good weight. He's up to about two sixty five. Yeah, he's uh. I think everybody. I think Coach True did a really good job of trimming guys the fat, the body percentage, the fat percentage, and getting everybody where they need to be. I think Jamario, yeah, he's huge. Mm -hmm. Out of all UNs, who's been the hottest getting after the quarterback so far? You gonna ask me that? I think myself. I'm gonna say me, but uh, if it, I, I like. I mean, I like everybody, but like I said, me personally, Soli stands out to me. Seriously, he, Soli is what I know. I speak high on him, but Soli is really gonna be a really good player for us. <laughs>